Well, howdy there, folks. This is Zero Stidy Jester. Welcome back to Marvel Heroes as we try out all 53 heroes in the game. Today we're looking at Ant-Man. Ant-Man. So he's really cool when you uh, actually use his little dodge forward power. He turns into, like, a little Ant-Man. So that's cool. Um, just thought I'd show you that. Up close. Alright. Um, items. Decent items. Nothing to complain about. Um, seem a little soft in powers um, and so and I'm actually using a unique Karagi Kajana for his slot one um, I think his slot one actually gave us items in our uh, ranks and items we don't actually use so we decided to switch that out to Karagi's Kajana so this is a rather unique item um, but of course it gives us a critical hit brutal strike rating we're, we're looking for plus three ranks to all power so that is good our core is not bad. Gain some spirit um, when we use a med kit and uh, get some health when we hit enemies and some damage rating. Not bad. Uh, insignia of Quake, nothing special there to write home about. Uh, we're just using our Iron Buddy pet for the fighting and the movement powers. Uh, we got physical powers. He is all physical. Uh, we have the Bone Breaker uh, U-Forged item. And as far as artifacts go, again, just kind of normal everyday items, nothing special, no blessings whatsoever. We're using the Sauron metal for the... Uh, because we haven't replaced it. That's because it's level 32. I must have missed that when I was doing that. Apologize for that. Uh, but we should give them a nice melee, um, maybe a metal uh, curse metal. And we're using the Relic of Asgard for the health and the damage rating to melee powers. Damage rating 43%, damage 40, uh, 24, 59. These seem, uh, damage rating seems to be okay. Uh, the, I'm sorry, the damage reduction rating seems to be okay. Damage rating seems to be a little bit low compared to some of the other heroes. Stat wise, we have a 42% chance of critical hit, and we have a brutal strike rating of 36%. Obviously, if you gave 20 percent more in our blessings of Hila, we would be at a very respectable 56 percent so his numbers are right where they need to be nothing uh, out of whack there whatsoever so he seems like uh, depending on the power uh, the rank of uh, his abilities and his powers uh, he could be a viable character so let's take a look and see so we are using as our default attack it's the tiny takedown which uh, shrinks you really tiny and it gives you a 40% against enemies under attack by your red hots or drone strike. So there are a couple powers here, red hots here, which you can summon in a bunch of a lot of little ants in an area. And if you're, um, if these are attacking the person you are attacking, you're going to get extra damage from your tiny takedown. Uh, we have our little uh, lunge forward power, which you just saw when it turns them all tiny. Uh, and then, of course, we do have our Red Hot Ants, which is a nice area of effect. Uh, enemies are vulnerable, and it costs 2,000 Ants. So the um, here's the way the Ants work. You can get up to 10,000 Ants. Uh, I think this damage, uh, as you do damage, you gather Ant Strength, and then you use some of the powers to actually summon the Ants. So I believe that's how that all works. Then, of course, we also have a uh, Drone Strike as well. Let me see if I can find that one. There it is. Drone Strike, a uh, nice bit of damage. Slows enemies, and, uh, and even when they leave the area for six seconds. So that's awesome. It does cost 2,000 ants. So you got to make sure you have lots and lots of ants. Our signature power, we basically grow really, really big, and then we take our foot and stomp somebody in front of us. And it does 50% damage to enemies close to Ant-Man. So... Uh, It'll knock him down and restore some of your spirit. So he is a little bit spirit weak. Notice we only have 231 spirit, which is a really kind of a low number there. Uh, fortunately, we're going to regenerate half of that. Every uh, Is it half? It is 43.9%, sorry. It's so almost half of our maximum spirit. So that's a good way to get some spirit back. And we can do that every 20 seconds. So I don't know if uh, being that low uh, number-wise in spirit is going to hurt us in the long run, but we shall see. Uh, and then we have this inch-high goodbye melee shrink power, um, which once you activate, 
Fistful Ants gains 100% damage if used within 4 seconds of Inch High Goodbye. So, Inch High Goodbye, you want to activate that. And then you want to activate your Fistful Ants, which is this power over here. So, we will, alter, or we will activate Inch High Goodbye and then Fistful Ants uh, to get that extra damage. Of course, why not? Extra damage is always nice. Maybe I should consider picking up some freelance gigs. Uh, we also have the definitive, definitive particle, which is a attack. It also gives us a passive effect and a buff effect. We will uh, use that as often as uh, it comes off a of cooldown, which is 20 seconds. So, uh, and then let's see. I think he has another passive power over here. No, that's the drone strike, fistful ants, red hots. Uh, uh, here's the passive power here. We just put, I believe, one point into it. So we, um, it's got a passive effect that we use. We don't use the active effect. We seem to have plenty of ants, so that's not an issue. Uh, I thought there was another... Um, oh, here's another uh, passive effect as well. Uh, think small. Uh, gives us a nice damage rating, damage versus uh, targets, and critical hit, and brutal strike rating. So all that stuff, really good. Omega system-wise, um, we have, since he's mostly melee, and some area effects, uh, we're going to be doing the uh, advanced mechanoid armor, trying to get some warpath and frenzy action. In fact, we'll go ahead and max these out since we've got a few points since I actually played them. We're actually using Psylocke, so when we use a movement power, we're going to gain 2% base damage to mental and physical attacks for 5 seconds. A little bit of Sabertooth action. Uh, of course, the spin tech for the boss damage. Come down the tree to get the Super Soldier Serum and a little bit of health boost from these two powers. Uh, we did go for Grom here for the extra spirit. And... Um, we did come into the tactical neural implant for the critical damage rating and the melee critical hit rating. I think I need to do that more with some of the melee characters because that seems like a pretty good bonus for the points you put into it. And then some gill suppression for the brutal strike rating. That's why our numbers are really where they need to be. You put a lot of the Omega points in. Synergy. We're actually not using Ant-Man Synergy because it is five bonus credits per drop and plus one strength attribute. I don't think um, plus one strength is worth it, so I'm not using him. I'm using Cable, Colossus, Daredevil, Psylox, Cyclops, Cy whatever his name is. Actually, let's go ahead and switch these out. We will give Ant-Man and we'll get rid of Cyclops. That's fine. Daredevil, Luke Cage, She-Hulk, Squirrel Girl, Thor, Wolverine, Winter Soldier. And that's a look at him. Oh, yes, I always forget ultimate power is Ant Nato. It's so cool. You just have a totally huge uh, tornado made out of ants, and it just whirls all over the map, uh, does lots of damage, and you take a lot less damage while it's activated for 10 seconds. So you do have to hold the button down. Oh, go around. You can't jump over the wall. You're too tiny. You're too tiny. Go around. All right, let's get back in and get some more Whoa, Midtown Patrol action going on here. So we'll see if we, can, if we can activate his ultimate power right away so we can at least get that activated twice. There is a 10-minute cooldown in, uh, as default for all ultimate powers, so... <laughs> we'll, wait, uh, we'll wait the minute and six seconds. So you can see our ants are just on the ground and now, so they just follow us around. And there's our combo. We're going to see that a lot. Inchai Goodbye and then Fistful Ants. So uh, Inchai Goodbye is this one. Bam. And then if we had enough ants, we would do um, the Fistful Ants. Right now we don't have enough because I've been talking and not doing enough damage. So I need to get out there do some more work here. All right. There's nothing better than being like the smallest. So we activate this one and then we activate our... Um, that power. I don't quite remember the name of him, but it's the inside goodbye and then fistful hands. There we go. Oh. And, uh, you know, with the nice stat numbers that we have, we're getting some nice brutal strikes. And you can see our ants now that I'm out here actually doing some work. 
uh, our uh, amount is going up. Now I haven't activated our signature power yet. You notice our our spirit is not horribly bad, so. But once it gets down there, we will activate our signature power and uh, get that. Uh... All right, we will activate it. Twenty. There's only a twenty-second cooldown. Ah, there we go. You grow really, really big, and then you stomp people's faces in the ground. That's really cool too. Mm-hmm. That one, and then this one. 1.7 million. Nice. As we just looked at a couple of the heroes not too long ago, um, when we don't have any special special things on our hero, no blessings, no uh, special items or anything, and you can still do a million points of damage or more on a, several of your attacks, that means um, that's a 1.6 million at crit. It wasn't even a brutal strike, it was 1.6 million. There's a 1.1 million. Oh, come back over there. Ultimate power. Ah, look at it. There was a 2 million, a 3 million, another 3 million. Uh, 1 million, a 1.7 million. Uh, just crazy amount of damage. Nice, awesome attack. <laughs> you gotta love it. That's awesome. That's the best, uh, one of the best things about Ant-Man is you can really, you're like the tiniest dude out there, and then you're like the biggest dude out there. It's just so cool, really nice. Activate that power, there we go. Oh, hey, we got a Super Soldier Serum. I haven't seen one of these in a while. All right, big, big, get real big. Ah, there we go, boom, stomp their faces. There's another one million crits. I know it's a lot of, uh, when you got all these heroes in there running around, it's hard to see all the powers. So that's why I'm kind of just telling you what powers I'm activating. And there's a 2 million uh, brutal strike there. That was nice. Grow big at uh, 1.8 uh, crit. So uh, we're doing enough damage to make him a viable character without without anything special in his inventory. Do 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 do. You can see we uh, we did some nice 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 amount of damage there, and that effect of the ant nato is <laughs> it's just it's it's pretty good. I like it. I uh, I have to say I have to I enjoy being the littlest dude out there. It was sometimes can be a pain because it's hard to see your dude, but uh, let's be honest, there's nothing better than being the littlest guy and kicking some butt. All right, we actually got a. Um, Advanced Super Soldier Serum. We put that on a lot of our heroes that we're not given special items to, so that's that's a good find for us. Um, let's see, who should we go after? Let's go after this area over, huh? Unfortunately, his little leap around power here, his go forward power, does cost uh, spirit, so that's kind of a bummer. Alright, grow big, grow big. 4 million. You see that? 4.1 million. Uh, and then again, uh, folks, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's it's important w that when I say something, I say it several times so it sinks in because some people just don't listen. Um, when I have no blessings on this hero whatsoever, no blessings, uh, I got no special items. Just regular items, no blessings, no legendary item. Um, and he does a crit of, or he does a brutal strike of over 4 million. That means he's a pretty tough little guy. Um, you're going to be watching another hero coming up probably in the next episode or two. There's a 1.3 against two guys. Um, squash him. 1.5 crit. We're going to be watching, looking at another hero shortly, that um, probably in the next episode or two, where we have got no special items on him, and we can't do anything with this hero at all. Nothing. So, um, the difference between the have and the have not in heroes is just, uh, there is a big, big...
big gap. All right, so we got a, a little bit more action here. Let's stop them. Boom, that's a nice area of effect. That's awesome. Took out that group really fast. Doot, 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 doot. So you just got to keep busy with your ants. Um, you know, the more damage you do, the more, um, the more ants will gather around you. And then you're going to activate some of your powers when you have enough ants. And uh, bam! Uh, that was a 3 million crit and a 1.3 million. So he is a uh, little ant man can hang in there with the best of them, folks. I'll tell you that. Um, and if you were to give him a nice legendary item, some blessings, uh, he would be, he could be a very, very viable character, uh, which is a surprise. I was not expecting Ant-Man to be as good as he is. Uh, there's a 2.9 million brutal strike. Um, and then, you know, I, I mentioned these over and over again in the episode because I want you to see the numbers. I want you to um, concentrate when I talk about them because when we look at other heroes, and they're only doing, you know, no million or higher hits. Um, you won't hear me say it. And it's important that you see that. There's a two million uh, strike up there. I got frozen there. That was not cool. You dirty little dog just froze me. Uh, another couple critical hits over a million there. And it's not just the same power over and over again. That's what makes him, uh, uh, it's, it's a, several powers that you want at least two or three powers that will consistently give you a lot of damage. And it's uh, obvious to me that Ant-Man can do that. Regularly getting over a million crits and uh, some rather large brutal strikes. There's over. Uh, there's a million crit right there. Speak of the devil. And then we'll come in and stomp him to finish him up. I love being the uh, character that ends it with my signature power. That is like everybody gets to like, oh, you know, you activate your signature power and the boss dies. So uh, just our regular attack. If we're just running around, just just our tiny takedown. Nothing special here. We'll do our tiny takedown. And you can see we are just flashing around, just. Boom, 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 boom. We're taking out the trash pretty good. Um, it's not obviously our strongest power, but, I mean, you know, we're doing enough damage. It doesn't take us too long because we're so fast. And we do have our little ants running around, which give us a big boost. That is a big boost. So you want to make sure. Right now we got 10 million ants running around with us. Uh, that's what uh, That's what the total would be. Oh, I'm sorry, is it 10,000, 10, not 10 million. It should be 10 million. It shouldn't be 10,000. I mean, come on, just be serious. If I was seeing this many ants, it'd be 10 million. It wouldn't be 10,000. Come on. All right, maybe it would be 10,000, but still, 10 million seems 10 million seems like a bigger number. That's just our regular uh, punch him in the face power. Nothing special. Took that guy out. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, we can pick up cars too. We're strong enough to pick up cars. Squash him. Ah. I was hoping to get a like a three or four million brutal strike for you. It didn't happen. Uh, yeah, there's a few heroes that I've come across uh, with this replay of all the heroes in the game, and uh, some of them are really a lot more powerful and deserve to get some really nice items. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough items to give everyone, so I have to be. I have to be judicious in uh, which characters I'm going to give my special items to. Um, these special rare items, they don't grow on trees, you know, folks. You're worse than my ex-wife. Oh, there's a 1.6 rule strike. I'm th just letting you guys see, um, you know, the damage numbers there. I'm trying not to name every single time I get one, but maybe I should. All right, here we go. We're going to... 3.1 million uh, on that stomp power, and we completed our, most importantly, we completed our uh, legendary event, so we definitely, yeah, yeah, I don't care about you, mister, I just need cars, mm -hmm. okay, we're just gonna run around, stomp them, 
Uh, there was a couple critical hits that looked like they were middle million or higher. Right now, I'm just going after cars because uh, these are the hardest thing to get sometimes. So I'm going after the 20 cars. Then we'll worry about the enemies when our when our signature power is off cooldown. Come on, get around, get around. That's right, get around. Me. There you go. Bam. Um, our brutal strike was really high. Unfortunately, it was covered up by the critical hits. So, oop, grab that. Come on, kill the car. Kill that one. Come on. I'd rather leap through them than pick them up because you can actually get your hero stuck on the car if you pick them up sometimes. Oh, all right, damn it. How we doing? Um, 14, we need six more. Five. Four. What did you want me to do? Let you hit me? No thanks. Three. All right, stop them. Sure, getting up on 2.2 2 million on several of them. Throw this car into that car. That should about do it, right? Yes, okay. Now we just have to worry about enemies. Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face really fast because we're so tiny. And then stop these guys into oblivion. That was a lot of critical hits that were over a million there. Looks like we've got some bosses. Is it time for our Aunt Nano again? We can try. Let's see if it's active. We'll wait till all the bosses. Um, yeah, there it is. There it is. It is off cooldown. Look at that. We're doing a lot of critical hits and brutal strikes in there for over a million. I didn't get to name them all because I was busy trying to make sure I got the tornado where it needed to go and so it uh, follows you wherever you go which is great oh, that was another 1.8 uh, critical so we are getting lots of criticals that are over a million we just need to get our brutal strike rating up so we can take those and transfer them into brutal strikes and that would be awesome come on where are you little Oh, he died from my damage. Great. Mm -hmm. So we just need uh, some more. We need some more people that work it for us here. Since this is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bam. Ah, 2.3 million. We need to uh, get that going to get some of the bosses and stomp their faces in the ground. Try Mole Man. I'm not a big fan of his, but. He actually is a pretty tough little dude. Um, at 1.9 on somebody, it wasn't Mole Man, but. Uh, didn't get a brutal strike on that combo again, this little combo we got going on. Good thing about this combo is they both have the same exact cooldown. So you activate one, you activate the other, and then you when the when the one comes off, you know the other one will immediately come off the cooldown, so. They both have the exact same cooldown, which is, uh, you know, duh, that's the way you want to design a hero. If you're going to be, hey, use this power and you get a bonus on this power, make sure the damn cooldowns are the same. That was a lot of critical hits. Our critical hit rating is just so good. It's just unbelievable. All right, we got that quest completed. It'll be some Odin Marks for us there. And now we will uh, make sure... Okay, super villains. We can take out some super villains. How are we doing in time? Looks like we got a few more minutes. Maybe we might even get another shot at our Ant Nido if we, if we go uh, about another eight minutes on this episode. So, something to look at. Is you... I'm sure you guys like to see that ant nido one more time because it's so cool. 10 million ants. I'm sorry. I keep saying 10 million. It is actually 10,000. But I'm going to say 10 million because screw them. It should be 10 million. Mm -hmm. oh, I need some spirits. So we'll have to activate our 
signature bower there. We get our shared quest reward again there. That's nice. Kick that in the face. We do need uh, some destroy some hidden. Uh, come. On. All right, so I haven't really showed you uh, completely. The inch I go by, this is that one. Boom. Oh, I missed it. And then we fistful ants, which does that. Kind of a fist out of the ground. Uh, so that's the combo. Let's see if I can do it again for you without anybody around so you guys can see it. So uh, you punch him right here. Uh, I missed. And then you activate this. Boom. And he gets that extra damage. So let's, uh, let's try one more time. Fist, boom, and then bring the uh, thing out of the ground. 1.6 brutal strike. That's not bad, especially when you don't have anything special on your character and you're doing that amount of damage. That's awesome. All right, boom, do it. Uh, I stopped it. Didn't get much. The ultimate power is not a uh, off the field now. I would have liked to see that. You can see we're doing a lot. Oh, 1.5 million brutal strike in there. We're doing some damage. We're so small, it's hard for you to see us, but. Uh, we're in there. We're fighting. We're right in there. We're using our combo. This combo especially. Oh, good. We got another card. Yay for Mondays. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. We need to uh, get lots of Odin Marks. What are we getting Odin Marks for? The blessings and the legendary items. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, we got a, two of those Skalkers. Nice. Now, if we can just get something decent out of them, these are little special boxes that you can get, and they will um, occasionally give you something good. Like, that's not bad, and that's not bad either. Extra spirit and some strength. Become invisible and rare and fine. Some health. Gain health when you hit an enemy, and damage to melee power. So both of those would be... Uh, rather good and we got a re grim reaper medallion which we're gonna give to him because we're gonna gain spirit when we defeat an enemy we're gonna get some brutal strike we're gonna get some physical and I wanted to replace his Sauron level 32 metal anyways and its physical damage and his brutal strike rating so grim reaper welcome aboard Ant-Man excellent oh I'm loving that that is awesome Good job, Ant-Man. You found a good item for yourself. And he actually found this uh, Super Soldier Serum and two of these cores. Now, I'm going to go back to base. I hate to do this because it's a not very fun for you guys. But I definitely need to hold on to these two. Because um, a lot of times when I get back to base and I got a whole bunch of stuff, I just sell it all really quickly. I don't want to sell these two because they're actually going to be good. And helpful. All right, well, sell, 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 sell. Uh, keep this, keep this, keep this, keep this, keep this, sell this, put that there. And I'm done. See, it didn't take very long. You guys can be patient. All right, our tor uh, ant tornado should be about off cooldown. Should we use it again? Oh, looks like Iceman wiped out. Uh, Kitty cat there. What are you doing here? All right, stomp. Here we go. Stomp. Wait for a bunch. Wait for a bunch. There we go. That was 2.2 .2 and 2.6, and there was another one that was at least two million in there. Uh, that's a lot of damage, folks. I hate to tell you, but that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage, and we don't have. Uh, just think how much damage we would do if we had uh, a legendary item that was giving you more, better stats. We got rid of this item, which is not very good. This item, which is not very good. Uh, and this item, which is not very good. And gave him decent, rather unique items. And keep this one. And then give him four blessings. So our brutal strike rating goes up to 57.9% of the time. Uh, and the other thing is we don't actually have any relics on, this, on his um, unique items either. So we would be getting some more damage out of that. And uh, the brutal damage rating and the health is not horrible. I might replace that, but let's go see if our Ant Nato is off a of cooldown. One more time. 
Where are you? There you guys are. Oh, it's not off a cooldown. I just tried. Damn it. That's too bad. We'll try it maybe towards the end. There's 2.6 million. Um, we'll try it towards the end and see if maybe when there's like maybe one boss left. Maybe just another minute or two it'll be off a cooldown. We got enough health. We stay in there. Uh, we stay in the fight. We don't have to worry about that. And I keep forgetting to act actually activate this power, which would give us a nice damage amount too. Um, so, and punch, kick him, whatever. Punch, punch, do a combo. All right, let's see if our ant nato's up to cooldown. Nope, it's not off the cooldown. We'll have to wait for the one more group of bosses. We'll finish these guys up. It shouldn't be too long before we wipe these guys out. There's our Odin marks. And right click, and then stomp them, stomp them. Oh, we didn't get that brutal strike rating real high like I was hoping. Nice, nice, nicely done. Hey, man, good job, good job, man, man. Very nice, very nice. What would you find now? Uh, nothing good. This kit kitinic idol, uh, I'll probably give it to somebody because we're running out of items. You realize there's 53 heroes that each take four, um, four artifacts. That is a lot of artifacts that you need for all those heroes. So probably end up giving that to somebody we're not going to be trying to spend a lot of time on. Okay. I'm messing with you guys. 2.3 into 2.7 million. Yep. Punch and then fists. Didn't get that huge brutal strike I was hoping. There's a nice little almost a million from our definitive particle. What do we need? Oh yeah, we need to destroy uh, hidden uh, aims there, don't we? Look at how fast he is with his little leap around power too. It's nice. Punch, fists. Uh, I missed the punch, so I'm not sure I get the bonus when I miss the punch. Oh. Let's try that again. Fists. Oh. Fists. Punch. Which fist is this, and then the punch is out of the ground with the ants. Nice little combo. Alright, fists. Punch. There's a 1.5 million. You ain't taking me in. This punch. Uh, all right, go big. That was a lot of brutal strikes damage there. That was two million and a three million and another two million that I saw. That's a lot of damage. All right. Well, uh, I think that's all we can do. Oh yeah, we're gonna try for one more Ant Nido here. We have to wait for the bosses. Four million uh, brutal strike there. Now, now this. Okay. Had to stop you somehow. Mm -hmm. like that. I didn't hurt you that bad. It'll definitely, I think it'll definitely be a, a cool down. Um, by the time the bosses get here, let's see. Okay, we're looking for cyborgs actually. Mm -hmm. Come on, cyborgs. I need those Odin marks, man. We need to get these guys some blessings. Show a little restraint. Five seconds. Three seconds. Come on, bosses. Where are you? Come on up here. Somewhere up here. Um, nope. All the way on the other end of the planet. But, fortunately, we are so fast. We'll wait for a couple of them to spawn. They kind of come in every three seconds or so. Use our signature power. And then... Time for Antinator! Ha 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 ha. 
Oh my god, look at that. Two million, two million, three million. 1.6 crits. Oh, just crits everywhere. That was great. That was awesome. 2.9 million on that one, and we stomped the guy to death. Sorry. Awesome. That's a look at Ant-Man, folks. In action. Hopefully you enjoyed it. He is a uh, very powerful little uh, character. Does some nice damage, and we don't even have him set up uh, to be perfect. One last time, just to show you his powers, we use Signature Power, Inch High Goodbye, Tiny Takedown, uh, Think Small, uh, The Definitive Particle, and Drone Strike, Fistful Ants, and Red Hots. Uh, that seems to be the greatest combo for him that I see. And uh, maybe there's other powers in here that you can use with him. And uh, feel free to try out some different powers with him because he's a lot of fun to play. He really is. Uh, being the smallest dude out there and then being the biggest dude out there is, is uh, really cool. And they got a... Uh, actually, do they have... Um, what, I think X is the store, right? Let's look at costumes for Ant Man. Oh, there it is. So they actually have the Ant Man Classic Prim costume, and they actually have the Ant Man Scott Lang movie costume, are the two costumes they have for him right now. Uh, and this is the default one that comes with with his uh, with him. So, have a Ant Man. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.